Hi, if you're providing services in the drone industry, one of the th items that you might have come across is drone scan to BIM. Scan to BIM. Scan to BIM. To scan to BIM. Scan to BIM. Scan to BIM. Now, what exactly is scan to BIM? Actually, what is even BIM? We'll have a look in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Varun from Hammer Missions and in this video, I want to try and break down what is scan to BIM and more specifically, what is drone scan to BIM. Okay, let's start with that word BIM. BIM actually stands for Building Information Modeling and it's actually the term used by architects, engineers and contractors forming AEC, which is an industry that builds things around us actually use BIM as a word or a technology to essentially describe the set of tools and software that they use to construct the built world around us, to construct um, everything from buildings to infrastructure and many different types of assets. So BIM is essentially building information modeling. It is, it is essentially a way to describe the tools and infrastructure and software that that's used to be able to create the built world around us. Everything from creating the design for a building to essentially tracking the changes in that building to understanding whether or not the design is meeting the, the, the built structure. So that's what BIM stands for. Now, where do drones actually come in? So as some of you might already know, drones have become an extremely cost-effective method to scan a site or an asset and to model it in 3D. And this cost-effective method has essentially given us essentially outputs which are very similar to the laser scanning world. So you can now take a drone and fly it over a particular site and create a 3D model from this drone. And this 3D model can be exported in not just the 3D model textured formats, but also in the laser scanning formats, one of them being the .las format. And the reason I mention this format is because what we want to do is we want to connect this scanned 3D model to the industry standard BIM tools. And connecting this 3D model to the BIM tools is what allows the end customer or client, be it an architect, be a contractor, or an engineering consultant, to actually use the drone data in their internal workflows. So what I'm going to describe here is what you would normally do to be able to take, let's say, a construction site and make that available to architects, engineers, and contractors inside the BIM software. The workflow would be as follows. You take your drone and you fly it over a site in a structured manner. So you typically fly a single grade or a double grade flight plan, and you create a 3D model from that flight plan. Once you have a 3D model of that flight plan, you can use software such as Hammer Missions to create essentially a 3D OBJ or a 3D LAS file. Generally speaking, for scan to BIM, you would want to create a .las file, which is a format that comes from laser scanning. Actually, I made a whole video on different types of formats that come from different industries into the drone world. So if you're interested, you can go check out that video. But once you've got that .las file, what you then need to do is then you need to essentially export that file and you need to import it into uh, an Autodesk or a Bentley software. So let's take Autodesk as an example. You would take Autodesk's recap and you can put this .las file inside recap to generate essentially a .rcp file. And this .rcp file now represents your 3D model in a format that can actually be read and understood by software tools like AutoCAD, Revit, and likewise in the BIM industry. So what we've described here is the workflow on how you can take drone data, which comes from you know, commercial UAVs, and how do we essentially build a workflow so that that data can actually become useful in engineering and construction environments. So that's pretty much what scan to BIM in, in a drone industry context means. It's basically the workflow that you would use to scan your site to integrate it all the way to the BIM side of, side of things. Well, this was a short video. Hopefully you got some value out of it and you now better understand what what clients mean when they talk about scans BIM and how you can essentially deliver outputs in the right format so that they're able to use the data and actually get insights from the job that you've done for them. 
Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give us a like. And um, if you think somebody else might benefit from watching it, please do share it with them. We are always eager to hear what videos we should do next. So if you have any suggestions, please do leave them in the comments box. We'll see you in the next video for Knowledge Hub. Thank you.